All right, thank you, Zach. Two weeks ago, two students were shot outside George with High School in the middle of the school day. And now one of the victim's mothers is speaking out for the first time about that day and how her son is doing. Our Tyler Lane is live at VCU where that student is continuing his recovery tonight. Tyler, what'd she tell you? Well, Bill and Janina, 16 year old Victor Sandoval tries to make a recovery here at the ICU. His mother says that she feels like she's, quote, living in a standstill. Through tears, Blanca Sandoval recounts getting the scariest phone call of her life. They called me and told me that my child had been shot and I had to be there urgently and I thought my child was gonna die. Her child is Victor Sandoval, the 16-year-old sophomore student who was shot in the parking lot of Richmond's George Wythe High School on April 27th. Almost two weeks later, Victor still fights for his life at VCU Medical Center. He's in the intensive care unit right now. He's very delicate at the moment. Um, up until today, he's had three surgeries already. And through a translator, Sandoval tells us she's not leaving her son's side. It's 24 hour work. I'm here almost every, all, all the time. Um, and it's really hard for me because I have kids at home and they also need my attention. It's just been very difficult because I feel like I'm letting them down and I'm just nearing a point where I feel like I can barely keep going. Sandoval still doesn't know much about what exactly led up to the tragedy. She says the shooter grabbed a gun out of a car as kids were gathered outside, fired shots, and that a bullet struck Victor. But Sandoval says he did not know the suspect. A tu hijo le dispararon, eh? Horrible, horrible. So she sends her kids every day to school, thinking that not only are they going to learn every day, but it's also a secure and safe place. According to an internal email, Superintendent Jason Cameras said that Victor did report to school that day, but he left through a door around 11 a.m., an hour before he was shot in the parking lot. RPS policy states that students under the age of 18 must be released to a parent in order to leave during school hours. Sandoval wonders, where was the enforcement from the school security? There should be more security in the schools. Um, there should be security guards and people checking the doors just to make sure people aren't leaving the school during school hours. These students don't deserve to be put at risk because of gun violence and lack of security. Oh, that's him cutting the cake on his birthday last year. Though she's heartbroken, she's also hopeful that Victor can still go on to achieve his goals. He wanted to try out for the football team, graduate high school, and become a chef one day. It's just one of his dreams, and it hurts her so bad to think that something worse could happen and that he might not be able to get through this. Her message to other parents just out there. to dedicate more time and care to your kids. Just make sure that they're educated on the dangers of weapons and guns especially. And here's how you can actually help out at home. Sandoval says that unfortunately, Victor does not have insurance and she's worried about the medical bills. A GoFundMe has been created to help out the family during this time. If you would like to contribute, we have a link on our website at WTVR.com. Here in Richmond, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.